11. Now, when you when you first came up, brother, we were explaining about the so-called pastors in Atlanta, Georgia, correct? What did you say? What What is the characteristics of some of these pastors out here? How are they teaching our people, and what what devices are they using to teach our people? What did you say? How do they How do they How do they maneuver, and how do they control their church? Making it feel guilty, or just like the brother brought out, feel good, right? Let's see what the Bible says. Go ahead and touch on it. Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. Come on. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. Stop. The Bible said that you're supposed to go to your pastor, your priest's lips, according to Malachi 2 and 7. But the priest's lips must keep knowledge. What is that knowledge? The word of the Most High. So you should be able to go. You should be able to go in your church, raise your hand, and ask any questions, right? But the problem with our people is, we'll just go to the church and be like a bobblehead figure. Everybody just bobbing their head, not asking questions. Went in there, got pimped in and out, heard a good little 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 choir, you know what I'm saying, recital, and then they're on their way to eat crab, pork, shrimp, and everything on their so-called Sabbath day. Okay? Finish reading what you got. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down. Loving to slumber. Loving to slumber. These pastors are dogs that cannot even utter a bark. Yeah, they well, cannot even warn right. the people to let them know what sins and transgressions they are in. Read on. Verse 11. Yay! Yeah, they are greedy dogs. They are what? Greedy dogs. These yeah, damn Creflo yeah. Dollars, these damn TD Jakes, they are right. what? Greedy dogs. Yeah. They are greedy dogs. Read on. Which can never have enough. They can never have enough. That's why they got these planes. That's why the brother just brought out that they, their church is as damn near as big as this building. And ain't nothing, know, everything else around it is to shamble. Drop that and give me 2 Peter's, the second second chapter, start at verse 2, and we're going to go down to 3, and we're going to give it up to the brother. Listen close. 2 Peter's, chapter 2, verse 3. Come on. And through covetousness shall they with faith. Read it right. Through fame. I want you to start at verse 2. Okay, so verse 2. 2 Peter's chapter 2, verse 2. Come on. And many shall follow their pernicious now, ways. Now stop, stop. It says many, many shall follow their pernicious ways. Do you know what the word pernicious means? Pernicious is, is in the sense of harmful or hurtful. You understand what I'm saying? Deadly ways, pernicious ways. Read that again from the top. Verse 2. And many shall follow their precious, pernicious ways. And many, the so-called black man, the so-called Native American, and the so-called Latino, we follow the pernicious ways, these hurtful ways of these pastors. But where do these pastors get it from? Who owns the theology schools that the pastors get their doctrines and their degrees from? The white? That's Say it right. right for the camera. The white, the white damn devil. That's, that's who right. owns That's the right. That's where the philosophy right. comes. That's why the scriptures told you that the wisdom of this world is foolishness that's unto the most high. That's right. That's the right. wisdom of the damn devil is foolishness unto the most high. That's this isn't right. to beat you up, brother. This is to exhort you and build you up. You are a king. That's right. That's you are right. a lion. Right. You are to rule your people. Read on. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Read that again. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. By reason the way of truth. Now the brother just brought that out. What is the truth? The truth is the law. Read. Verse 3. Read on. And through covetousness shall they with bang words make merchandise of you. What? And with and through covetousness. Shall they, with vain words, make merchandise of you? Now these pastors, through the covetous, that covet spirit that they have for greed and filthy liqueur, and through vain words, oh, brother, everybody's welcome here. Sister, sister, yeah, come on, Sister Shirley. Yes, all is welcome. God loves everybody. John 3, 16. We accept all here. Read that again. Verse 3. And through covetousness shall they, with vain words, make merchandise of you. Because these pastors have made merchandise of you, Israelites! That's right. right now I'm in Crepo Dollar's bookstore. They have no apocryphas, but they have plenty of corny nonsense.
This is what he's stalking instead of the Apocrypha. His workers just told me there is no Apocrypha. But plenty of his own stuff. This man is the devil. Straight up and down. Equipped by grace. Him and his cracker friends. Man got a bookstore right beside the church. There you go. We got a big job ahead of us, Israel. Got to take down many demons. Straight up. Finances, that's what he worried about. Holy Spirit, yeah, right. emotions. That's what these Christians deal with, emotions. And on the other side of that is the church. Unbelievable. We can't even get a get a get us a room to congregate. This man got bookstores, big old church, and another building outside of here, all on the same property. And workers cutting this grass right now. Oh, of course, white man Jesus. Can't forget that. Can't leave that out. White man Jesus. Israel, check out this man's land. He got his own bookstore. Negroes cutting grass. You know, on the side of that is his church. Look how big this is! A, amazing. He's got big old temples. Look at this big old temple. World changes church. Big old temple. Parking lot. Probably holds what 20, 25,000? Bookstore. This is Creflo's church. Creflo and Laffy Taffy Dollar. Making big money off it or off our people. Not showing them who, who not showing them who they are according to the Bible. Look at this parking lot. Parking lot is huge. Look, look how far the parking lot go. There you go, another temple. He's got other property. Satan has definitely blessed him. Straight up and down. Damn shame. Brothers is struggling to get one property just to hold the Sabbath and hold class. This man got three extremely huge properties on, on this land. Wow. That's crazy. But I, I won't be walking in there. Who knows? Might get shot like the brother that, that was leading that prayer group uh, at his the church. The community in Atlanta is the shambles. That's right. But Crapload Dollars Church is so damn huge. The room, he, can, he has enough room to fill people in there. That's right. To get the brothers and sisters off the street. But he is what? Greedy. No. They're what? Which can never have enough. Now, keep going. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. These shepherds, they don't have this knowledge. They're not, they don't have wisdom. They do not have wisdom. How can they understand? They're leading Israel astray. That's They're right. leading Israel to the slaughter mill. I wanted to put some of those little moving bars and uh, give everybody a little card. They stick it in a little computer slot. And if they were tithing, beautiful music would go off. And, you know, welcome, welcome, welcome to the world, though. But if they were non-tithers, the bar would lock up, 
the red and blue lights would start going, the siren would go off, and a voice would go throughout the entire dome, crook, 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 crook. <laughs> Security would go and apprehend them, and once we got them all together, we'd line them up in the front and pass out Uzis by the ushers. We'd point our, uh, our Uzis right at all those non-tithing members because we want God to come to church. And at the count of three Jesuses, we'd shoot them all dead. I would certainly try it. 